use please the advice I gave you gave you to create an engaged and trustworthy team that follows your leadership using conflict as a powerful tool to create commitment and progress. Hi everybody. In any kind of team or working environment, there will be differences of opinion. People think and act differently. Many different personalities need to come together as one for a team to move forward successfully. Today, we will be talking about the importance of open discussions and conflicts in teams, especially conflicts between team members and you. It is important to not fear or shy away from conflict. Your team members should know this. If done right, conflict management is a powerful tool to bring you and your company ahead. Fear of conflict can be the result of an absence of trust. The trust that the conflict is worth the effort of going through it. If this is the case, lack of commitment will be inevitable. It will be followed by the avoidance of accountability and an inattention to results. The team might even fall apart. So how can you not only manage the challenge of conflict, but also prevent the team from falling apart and hindering the success of your company? As I said, the absence of trust can be a major issue. If your employees and colleagues do not trust you, they will not pronounce that disagreement openly since they are not sure if the resulting conflict will be treated fairly. You need to quickly start building trusting relationships by being open and accessible. In order to avoid fear of conflict, help your teammates feel appreciated and understood even and especially when difficult situations arise. Make it very clear that you welcome disagreement with your own position. It is important that everybody feels that they as a person and their opinions are welcome and valuable when criticizing your point of view. If you feel like there is a lack of commitment going through your enterprise, lead by example. Show your commitment to team goals and do whatever is necessary to accomplish the objectives. Prevent the fact that your colleagues don't hold themselves accountable by holding yourself and them accountable and always strive to learn more. Ask your team members for their opinion. If it differs from yours, either work on a better solution together by combining the two standpoints or go with one solution, either yours or the one of your team members and explain exactly why. People normally don't have a problem with following decisions that they initially disagree with as long as they understand why the decision was taken. If they don't, we run into the trust problem again and lack of commitment is guaranteed. So transparency, openness and explanation lead to trust. Trust leads to constructive conflict, which leads to commitment and hence, hence progress. If you act this way, you can prevent an inattention to results and rather have people humbly share accomplishments with everyone. Use Please, the advice I gave you, gave you to create an engaged and trustworthy team that follows your leadership, using conflict as a powerful tool to create commitment and progress. If you are confident and believe in yourself, you will embrace conflict and lead your team into a successful future. And after all, is that not what it is all about? 
So, if you are interested, you can apply for a free consulting session with me personally by clicking on uh, the link below this video. We can have a chat about one of your specific leadership challenges together and see which solutions we can offer. The LIFE program is tailored to young leaders and entrepreneurs trying to grow from founders into leaders within, within just six weeks. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel or leave a comment with feedback if you like. I will respond personally to all of your comments. Thanks for watching. See you next week. This was Armin L. Rao from Alan and Rao, the Entrepreneur's Entrepreneur. And don't forget, lead yourself.